brand new pictures just released of Samuel Olson, the boy who's been missing for more than a month and is now presumed dead after a child's body was discovered just last night in a motel room in Jasper, Texas. These new photos show a much happier time in that boy's life. They were released today by attorneys for the boy's mother, somebody who had not seen her own child in at least a year, even though her attorneys say she had custody of him. Now among the images released tonight, a video of Samuel Olson. Listen here. Mouse. I love you, bye-bye. Tonight, on the heels of this investigation, Samuel's mother is delivering a new message through her attorneys, saying in part that she wants justice for her baby. The woman who was arrested at that East Texas motel last night is Teresa Balboa. She is the girlfriend of Samuel's father, and tonight she remains behind bars there in Jasper, charged with tampering with evidence, and it's not yet clear when she'll be brought back to Harris County. Our Roseanne Aragon live now in Southeast Houston tonight with the new message from Sam Olson's mother. Roseanne? This mother says she just wants to see her son and needs time to process, but she says she's glad Balboa is behind bars. If Samuel is deceased, this is her child after the identification process, that she feels 100% of the blame is on both, you know, Dalton, you know, and uh, Teresa. Sarah Olson is waiting to identify the body of a child found in Jasper, who investigators say is likely her missing six year old son, Samuel. I love you. Bye bye. She just wants everybody to know that, you know, she's completely heartbroken. She has not seen her son yet, but it's a mother's intuition. She feels that um, that a, a boy that was found in Jasper is her, is her son. I had no choice but to hand him over. This feeling comes after Sam's father, Dalton Olson's girlfriend, Teresa Balboa, claimed that Sarah took Samuel back in her care with a man posing as an officer. She couldn't believe that story. You know, she was just, I mean, it was, it was outrageous. Now, She's glad, you know, that uh, the girlfriend Teresa is in custody. But that's not all. She also strongly uh, believes that Dalton, you know, the child's uh, father, should also be in custody. I just need to know where my son is. Because Sarah says Dalton's had Sam. You now, since April 30th, then, and for him not to say anything or do anything, then um, obviously it, it seems like it, it was both of them orchestrating something. Now this mother says she just wants justice for her little boy. Chris and Dominique. Roseanne, Houston police have said that the, they last verified sighting that they had of Samuel was back on April 30th at his elementary school in Sci-Fair ISD. So Roseanne, uh, do we know what steps the school district took after Samuel stopped attending school? So we have been pressing SciFair ISD on exactly those issues, asking them who did they contact and whether or not they contacted any local authorities and at what point. At this point, the district is not answering any specific questions, but they did send us this general statement. Campus staff, including teachers and administrators, contact a student's parent slash guardian to follow up on a student's absences. If a student is reported as missing, the district and C FPD offer assistance to the law enforcement agency investigating the missing person's case. That is the very latest. We will continue to press the district for answers. For now, reporting live from Southeast Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News. And Roseanne, our coverage of the Samuel Olson case continues around the clock on click2houston.com and the Click2 Houston mobile app. While you're there, you can read a timeline of all of the twists and turns in this tragic case.